Look at Melanie Jolie's statement in reply to Paul Yev and listen to the, the crap she's gonna say, man. This is mind-blowing stuff because what she says is just so stupid. She sounds so dumb, more and more dumb. Like, she's probably caught, like, the Trudeau virus where she just becomes stupid. I would like to reiterate how much I personally and this government is, again, any, any form of anti-Semitism. And we know that there's been a rise of anti-Semitism across this country. It has worsened since October 7th. We've heard from the Jewish community from coast to coast to coast how much this was a problem. And we need to continue to fight every day. There's a rise in anti-Semitism anti in the country from coast to coast to coast. The Minister of uh, what, Foreign Affairs is saying that. I don't know why there's a rise in anti-Semitism when you're bringing in sympathizers to another cause in the country. I mean, what could have caused a rise of anti-Semitism when you let in terrorist supporters in the country? The people that are against Israel are not supposed to be in Canada. They're, they're the enemy of Canada. They're not only the enemy of Israel, they're the enemy of Canada. But you're taking people from that enemy territory, bringing them in a country that supports their main enemy. That is, that is completely stupid. It doesn't make And of course, we have, as a government, to do a better job. And we all have to do a better job. Everyone in the House of Commons. And so we'll continue to denounce any form of anti-Semitism that is happening on our streets, in our schools against hospitals, synagogues, etc. Why? Because we, as a government, believe also in the charter, in the fact that freedoms need to be protected, not only freedom to speech, but also freedom from intimidation, violence, discrimination. Now, You're trying to solve a problem with solutions to the problems that you cause. You bring in a problem and then try to, oh no, stop doing this. Like you're, you're, like you're, you can't ask these people that hate Israel to stop hating them because you said, don't do this. They hate them, they hate them. This will never change. When it comes to the leader of the opposition, Kapoliev himself, let me be clear. What we saw yesterday was the height of hypocrisy. Clearly, Poliev is doing one thing and saying one thing and he's doing another. He's fighting anti-Semitism. He never condemned those who were waving a Nazi flag during the Freedom Convoy. It wasn't even a Nazi flag. It was a flag that belongs to some Hindu uh, religion. It's like it looks like a swastika, but it's not even a swastika. <clears throat> it's a flag that represents something uh, about like uh, Hinduism. On this, this Parliament, Parliament Hill. Hill, why, why do he? And it represents the placing of the stars, that uh, symbol. Second, he cozies up to groups like Diagolon, who spread neo-fascist ideology across this country. Man, if some guy just created a group and the next day he comes say hi to you, he sees you in public and you don't know who he is, or you're a, support, you're a sympathizer, like, it's not like everyone knows who that clown was, like Diagolon. Bring, give me a break, where did you get that one? Who actually told her to say this crap? I bet Paul Yev didn't even remember that that group existed. Why does he group denounce people? their anti-Semitism as well? And also, when his caucus met with far-right politicians from Germany that were downplaying Hitler's crimes, he kept them, in, kept them in his caucus, and they're still sitting next to him in the House of Commons. That's rich coming from the party that literally brought a, lib, like a legit Nazi and gave him a standing ovation in parliament you brought in you both of you right there the people vetting these people both these people right there these two ministers karina gold said that the guy was vetted so they knew exactly who he was so like they checked his past 